Hi guys. It is another hot, sticky, miserable mid-August day in early May there in the shithole oven state of Texas where at least here going on noon it is still a balmy 93 degrees. Heading up to, I don't know, what is it, 97 today. You know, looking at this 10 day forecast, it is now Monday morning. What is that, May 9th, 2022? Uh, Monday morning, May 9th, <coughs> my final day in the Shithole State of Texas. I will be getting out of here, assuming I do not die of heat stroke. Uh, my truck one more time packing up my truck and this camper and limping off to New York baby tomorrow uh, looking at the 10 day weather forecast in Austin Texas putting it up against the weather forecast in Ithaca New York good God from one end of the solar system to another but since it is Monday morning uh, I guess I'm going to make a short, sweet, as I can, uh, Corona Panic uh, rant, and uh, I'm going to get a jump on the mainstream media because my guess is sometime in the next week, quite possibly as I am driving to New York on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It's probably some point this week, we all know what the biggest story, uh, certainly in this shit, in this shithole country, if not the entire planet, you better believe any day now in all of the fear stream media has been licking their chops anticipating this day and they've probably pre-written the story uh, already. All of the uh, fear stream media outlets have uh, already got this story ready to go to press so I might as well be the first. We all know what the single biggest story by far is going to be probably in the next week. Is anybody out there that clueless? Obviously, guys, the biggest story in the country, if not on the planet, is going to be that 99.7 people, I'm sorry, 99.7%, 99.7% of people living in the uh, shithole country of the United States of America have not died of or with corona panic. This will be the biggest story uh, on the planet. 99.7% of Americans have not died of or with corona panic which is another way of saying if you want to spend about uh, 30 seconds on a percentage calculator as any reporter or editor can do, another way of uh, stating that 99.7% of Americans have not died of or with corona panic is that 0.3% after more than two years into this great pandemic, 0.3% uh, of Americans. Now, of course, the uh, story is going to read have died of corona panic, that you are not going to see any reporter or editor who recognizes the difference between the words of or with 
I think I've heard the only country on the planet uh, who does recognize the difference between uh, of or with, I believe, is Japan. That, uh... But anyway, we're not going to get on the semantic hair splitting of the difference between of or with. Uh, you will have to go back to, I guess, kindergarten grammar to understand the difference between those two words. And then, of course, we're not going to go in. You can find it all where that of the 0.3% of Americans, we're not going to dive into that number and, and clip out the people over the natural lifespan of an American. Uh, you take the people who should have been dead by something by now, you subtract the old people, you take out the, uh, the percentage of that 0.3% uh, who have died of or with, who have a BMI greater, I will say, than 20, we're going to call it 27. If they, if they would simply take out those two numbers, the number of that the zero point, that percentage of the 0.3% over the natural age of being dead by, from, of, or with something, anyway, and these clueless fat morons who cannot pass a hot and ready now sign at Krispy Kreme Donuts. You, you just take those two out of the equation and not sure what the percentage of Americans left over uh, when you take out uh, those, those two subgroups. My guess is the headline would read about 99 point nine something percent of Americans uh, who are not over the age of the natural lifestyle or under a BMI of 28, it would be the biggest story on the planet would be that 99.9 uh, something percent of Americans have not died of or with uh, corona panic, but uh, since everybody else, every other media organization has already, has already done this story, so as soon as the CDC makes the announcement that 99.7% of Americans uh, have not died of or with the corona panic, you will be buried buried uh, in the single biggest distraction story on planet Earth that should be somewhere, I don't know, maybe in the top 100 stories, maybe coming in at 96 or 97 percent. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see how many stories we have on the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative uh, going up against the, uh, the uh, Corona Panic story of the year. Uh, let's see how many uh, lithium mining stories are going to be uh, in the headlines along with uh, the biggest corona panic story of 2022. Hell, that, that, let, let's see if Ukraine, let, let's see where Ukraine is going to line up against the biggest corona panic story of 2022. But anyway, uh, I am thrilled to say I have Pandora. 
So uh, I do not have to listen to one second of NPR or any of these other little uh, particularly lefty uh, fear stream media covering the uh, single biggest distraction of 2022, which is going to be the single biggest Corona panic story of 2022. But you guys enjoy it. And uh, if you feel like pointing out to your clueless moron friends, uh, you know, parroting this shit back to you, do uh, suggest percentage calculator to uh, weigh their own personal risk. Anyway, I've got to uh, get me some Vietnamese food in Austin, Texas one more time. One more plate of Vietnamese food in, you know, Austin, Texas. Pack up this gas-sucking truck and my hobbled little trailer and get the fuck out of the shithole state of Texas. I am out of here in 19 hours. I will be uh, cranking up. I will uh, talk to you from the road. Now, I'm not going to be able to post any YouTube rants till I get to Sister Sandy's house. So, I will uh, probably my next video. I'll be from Sister Sandy's place. Wish me luck. Bye, guys.